of us. Andre is actually studying to take his exams in <gasps> February. Nugan, Nugan, yes! Fine, 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 fine. I'll press the button, you jerks. <laughs> I forgot that I was rough. Oh, I forgot it was my room. Anyways, so we are going to go ahead. <laughs> he gave it to me. I know, I forgot. Shh, shh, Whoops. Quiet, quiet, quiet now. This is the tone that we should use to make Catholic church molestation jokes. No, shh. <laughs> oh, oh, that was not just a volume shush? Okay, my bad. <laughs> I didn't know that was a full on sush. Okay, so we're on Tarim Altar in the upper right hand corner. We have 710, the Zerg. In the left, in top left corner, we have Nugan, the Protoss. We are rooting for Sebi 10. We are rooting for. As much as we're unbiased, but. We're, not only is, we only have to be unbiased about other people that we know playing. We don't have to be. Yeah. We don't have to be unbiased. Like I, are you kidding me? We absolutely like throw down for Rock Dark uh, each and every true. week. Yeah, yeah, actually that is true. Oh my! And what's more, Seven Ten is Zerg as well, and he's British. Uh huh. So he has my vote on three counts. <laughs> is he really British? Yep. Oh British. my God! With that name, I thought he was Dutch or something. And you need to quiet your stream because I can hear myself in the echo. The stream? Yeah, I can hear myself. Is your stream on? Is it mine? Yeah. Oh, that was I... bizarro. There we Good go. Good game, Jack. Oh my god, I don't know what's <laughs> happening anymore. Alright, we're on Teldery Moulter. After this match, should Sebi 10 win, I'm going to maybe make something on the site. Ooh. However, if Nugan wins, I'm not. Because <gasps> then we have to wait for game 3 to end. <sighs> Tension. I so everyone know. now is willing Sebi 10 on. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to get all of the energy to go towards him. He's British, so we support him. Forge Fast Expand on Taldry Malter, it's more likely than you think. Yep, really, really standing up. We do have pull first by Sebi 10. Mm -hmm. He's going to look to take his expo really quickly, though, or he's just going to look to all in. You know, the, those are the options. <laughs> he's, the are, he's either going to play a game in the macro sense, or try and play it in the short sense. He does have a game to lose, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind seeing a 6 4 or something from him out of him, but nope, he's going to be playing standard. He's on fire today. He's doing really well. I, he's he's always been like a contender, mm -hmm. but I don't think we've ever seen him really go this far. Maybe no, I don't think he's ever made it to the finals uh, or the mm. or the semifinals even. However, obviously practicing with his wonderful team EXE has enhanced his play. Like that, yeah, a little, little minor plug. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Team EXE partners of the SVRush.com. All right, so we are going to go ahead and see nothing. Six links That's coming out of Price Seven Ten. That's a lot of links. He's going to clear out this. Yes, he's going to clear it out. But that's a big investment. Oh, and he did get a good surround. Indeed, he did. It's a, a big investment though. This early in the game. Well, I think they're supposed to eat the beat in the rocks, right? Like, isn't that the plan here? But no, apparently not. Apparently, mm -hmm. they're just going to try and get by this cannon. Oh, apparently we're news about. Oh, oh, dude, yeah, we forgot. Seven ten one um, plat diamond fourteen. That's right, he did. What is wrong with us? Failures. We are. God. Oh my god, indeed. And then Sorry, they were so nice me. when we didn't pay him. I'm just kidding. We paid him. That's <laughs> the one thing I won't joke about. Uh, gateways up. Just to go ahead and make that full wall. But these zerglings have now been shut down. We want to see them come back home and eat these rocks at the third. And a second probe Ooh. comes in. Ooh. Ooh. Second probe. Ooh, he's gonna lose a link, a couple of links at the front, but. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, indeed. Second probe, I don't know what you're doing here. You're hiding behind a tree. Okay. All right, that's that's happening. That's the thing. We will see if Sepi Tan finds this probe or not. This will be very, Ooh. very, very interesting. He's hiding in the trees. Yes, he's Charlie. He's going to be... Oh, no. Nope. The Ovlod is going to see it. There we go. So that's that. Just a futile scout where all the information is already known. I guess the only important thing is, hey, you still have no gas. Yeah. And Nugan could do what with that information? Um, not really all that much. He's kind of locked in down a tech, uh, down a path here. He's going to get this expansion. He's going to just build probes. I guess he could cancel the Nexus and rush all in, but I don't really see that happening here. It's true. And Go oh my God, Sebi Ten, you can take this base as your third. Yes, you can. He's doing it. He's doing it well. He's also connecting creep. He's also going to be sort of putting out the map. Sebi Ten is playing this matchup the way that we'd like to see it. The one thing that makes me really uncertain when I am playing this matchup as Zerg is, is there a Stargate coming? 
Yeah, well, th that's the reason why you need to be sacking the overlord in uh, mm. around 7.30. And if you don't get a count on those two gases, they're natural. Uh, if he does have those two gases, it's a lot more likely that he's going to star Stargate or DT. So, super important to have information. Though he does have this overlord here, spying everything. So, I think he can be pretty confident. But the Stargate goes down anyway. Stargate does go down. There it is. This overlord is here to go ahead and stop it. Is this going to be one gate or two gate? I, I think it's going to be one gate Stargate, but then again, it's Protoss, so <laughs> I don't know. But, yep, no, I'm correct. He does go one gate into Gateway. One gate into Gateway does appear to be the stratagem of the day. Goodness gracious, we'll see if he can actually get some more use out of them than Rockdar did. Come back next week, buddy. We love you. Roachhorn's also going down, and Layer Tech is still fairly far out. Speed has is just now starting. Wow. Um, this is that isn't that bad. I'd like to get speed, maybe around seven minutes in this case, mm -hmm. just because you can really delay it. Um, speed uh, in the early game, if he's uh, fast expanding, isn't that necessary. Okay. So what I'll actually do is maybe get a plus one upgrade first, and then pull two out of gas and use uh, the next one to gas and speed, because the push is going to come around eight minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you can get it just before that push, then you're totally fine. All right, then. First Void Ray is coming out. Is it being Chrono Boosted? Not at the moment, but maybe it will be. This is going to be spotted by this Overlord who will die for the cause. There is the Chrono Boost on the Void Ray. Warp Gate technology is up. Layer is coming out. Evo Chamber is going down as soon as it's spotted. Well played by Sebatan. Yeah, he's playing really well. Really solidly, and I, I don't know what he's got to beat him. He's got his number. He's seen this. He's got that, that third hatchery off. And he's now starting to prepare for the big push. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a little bit supply blocks. You really need to sort that out. And we do have Phoenixes coming out, though, from Protoss. So, mm -hmm. oh, and there's a lot of loose overlords here. There is a lot of loose overlords. That could be the one thing that gets Nugent back into this match in a big, big way. Plus one attack is coming up for the Protoss opponent as well. Speed is just now finishing. And Roach Worm plus... It's going to be Roach Hydra is going to be the play out of the Zerg opponent. Hydra may be a little bit of an overreaction, though. Um... I don't know, I I kind of like this. If you're going for uh, plus two and you're getting the plus two upgrades, Hydra's can be really effective, then you can force the robo reaction and you can go spy yourself. And he knows that since there's uh, Chris, some Stargates up... Chris, oh, look at what's yep. going on in the southern part of the map. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually giddy and happy. Oh, this is really happening. Genius. I, this is like destiny level play right here. Um, oh, one time. One time. Come on. Don't get scouted. Don't get Just scouted. Work. No, it's going to be... The only question is, how is he going to get the units over here to load them up? Mm, that is going to be problematic. Oh, my I th God. He, I think... Ooh, I don't know. I think he's just going to have to gun it and hope he doesn't get seen. They're on the way now. Yes, the here comes. The map the lings and roaches. <laughs> here. It's not that many roaches. And it's not that many use. And there's a couple of hydrogen link, uh, roaches at the third base that aren't actually rallied. No, indeed. They appear not to be, and they really, really should. Sebutan could absolutely do a full round of units here, but here they are. They're loaded. The Overseer is in position. Oh my god, they're oh, just... No. The overseer. No, they blink. There's a warp in to go ahead and push him away. How does he know? How did Nugent... Oh my god. Saw the Overseer with the uh, pylon region. Oh man, this is actually happening. And the Overseer is killed. He is supply blocked once again, and there's no way to knight us. Oh, but he's going to just go for the third. He is indeed. Like, why walk that distance? That's for chumps. And does he have enough to take this? He does it with a good engagement. Does Zergly yeah. need to be part of it, though? He has easy enough. The army supply time, he's got a full thousand minerals more than his Protoss opponent. He can easily take this army. Indeed. Cannons he's are attempting to come up. This is the wrong time for them. Cannons going down. Warping is occurring. The roaches are here, but it's a bad engagement so far. And no. Oh. But not all, not all the units are, are, are here for the battle, so it's not the greatest, but there's still so many units there, and it's a largely gateway army, but he's great force for the position away the, the Hydras, and he may be able to hold this back now. He may actually be able to indeed, because Hydras are glass cannons. Speaking of cannons, one has just actually popped up and is absolutely killing things. Oh, the Void Ray returns uh, to save the day. It's like a J.R.R. Tolkien novel or something. That was pretty incredible. Hydra dies to take out a cannon. 
One big thing though, a lot of sentries went down there. Sure. There's no sentries live for Protoss, so that's really harmed in for the mid-game push. Nope. But something to note, Protoss is ahead on workers. You never want to be in that situation. Where's this Nidus? There's a second Nidus popping up. I can't find it. Second Nidus. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, I hear it. I hear, I hear it. it too, but where is it? I can't find it, Chris. Where is the Where is it? Look at the mini for the red. Look at the mini map. I am, and I'm not seeing any. Oh, it's in the, it's in the main. It's, it's, it's the natural. It's in his natural. Yes, yeah, it's, it's in his natural. Okay. He just wants to transfer those units. All right. Uh, it is all good, yeah. I know. Well, there's a second knives popping up. You don't normally see it as a you know like a way to teleport back to your own base. I like it though. It's pretty funky. Lots of hydras off creep. This is pretty dangerous. There's enough airplay here to shut this down, and stalkers will absolutely do that. These stalkers are now plus one. Plus, uh, I apologize. The stalkers are now one one one. What? We've seen two Protoss get the shield upgrade today, Chris. Yeah, man, it doesn't have... Oh, this is a terrible engagement for Sebi-10. Awful. And he's getting pushed back here. Yeah. He uh, ooh, lifts up her even good, too. I don't know why that third Phoenix isn't lifting up as well. The Void Ray survives. Oh, man. That was horrifyingly bad. Yeah, and... He, he, Sebi-10 looks like he's switching out into Spire. He's got a fair amount of gas saved up, but... It's just... It's 